I was fortunate to receive an early access key to play the game Nevermourn a few days before its release from the developer. I'm happy to report that it's a fun game and certainly worth playing. The game will be available on the 13th of May. I must apologize in advance for my gameplay audio being out of sync with the video. I've had a hell of a time trying to fix this, and by almighty Cthulhu, I've failed. In Nevermourn, you play as a necromancer that splits its skills between offensive and support magic. Your staff has a green support end and a purple offense end, and you can flick it around to access the different abilities. On the green side, you've got minion reanimation, healing, and other support abilities. While on the purple side, you've got slashing attacks, projectiles, and other offensive abilities. The gameplay is simple but enjoyable, and works by surviving fights in areas, after which you get a reward. This game will appeal a lot to those that like to heal and support their minions, because healing and keeping your minions alive is very well supported in this game. My chosen style has been to rely on the minions completely for damage, and heal them, and keep them alive as best I can. The focus of my channel has always been the minion side of things, and so that's also going to be the focus of this video. However, if you are the kind of necromancer that enjoys the spooky mage angle of things, and doesn't rely on minions much, then you can rest assured that there is enough here to keep you occupied. You can choose to focus on either one, and it seems like both play styles are supported, including one where minions play a small role. There are two categories of minion greater minions and lesser minions. Lesser minions are numerous and greater minions are limited, but stronger and have special abilities. All minions are expendable and can be sacrificed for immediate healing. Depending on your upgrades, the sacrifice will also do other things. As you complete the levels, you can increase the strength of specific minion types, as well as upgrade your spells to be better or do different things. There's also a tree which you can fill out. Most of the nodes are pretty uninteresting in my opinion, and if there's anything this game could do better, it'd be to provide some interesting nodes to work towards. Nodes that meaningfully and fundamentally transform your minions would be awesome. For example, imagine if you could work towards a node that transforms all your minions into skeletons or ghosts when you resurrect them, or that sacrifices greater minions for an increased amount and quality of lesser minions, etc. This would be something far more exciting than increasing your health by 5% or gaining some damage reduction. The upgrades available that you get by playing and completing levels are more interesting and close to what I described than what appears to be in the tree. I'm scoring a 10 out of 10 for Nevermourn's minion mechanics. I've been playing the game for only a few hours and in this time I've come across a dozen different enemies. As far as I'm aware, all types of enemies you come across can be resurrected and turned into a minion. This means the minion diversity in this game is quite high, which is good. The amount of minions you can have at first is 6 lesser minions and 1 greater minion. As I've been playing and leveling up more, this has since increased to 3 greater minions and 12 lesser minions. This is a fantastic amount of minions to have, and feels very satisfying. The minions are all permanent and quite useful. It's quite awesome to defeat a tough enemy, then resurrect it and have it fighting for you. Every one of the greater minions has its own set of abilities which it uses. You can open the codex in-game and have a look and a read at what they're doing. I really like this. I think the developers have done a good job on this game. Combat feels good and is well polished with nice music and art, although the music does get repetitive after a while. Overall I think this is a good game and if more content gets added to it over time, it'll only get better. The main downside to it is that it's mostly fighting. I hope this video has been informative. I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon.